is a feat chased by many, but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart, determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. He's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of his UFC career, this fighter has done that and more, taking the sport to a new level in the process. He's been a world champion in multiple weight classes. He's made a ton of money, and he's achieved everything he'd ever wanted. There is no question that he is the greatest of all time. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. The list of accolades is a long one for this mixed martial artist, a heavyweight and a heavyweight champion, whose record is unmatched in the history of the fight game. And while this legend is retiring from the sport today, his legacy as the greatest of all time will keep him in the hearts and minds of UFC fans forever. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen the champion is in focus right now he's making his way towards the cage his training for this bout has been perfect everything ran according to plan he believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title our tale of the tape for this our main event of the evening lewis is 12 years his senior he weighed in at 260 pounds he will have a seven inch reach advantage and once again Ladies here is the veteran voice of the octagon Bruce the main event of the evening the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 85 wins, 49 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast. A 
now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 57 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 223 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now, go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Ready? I'm very excited. Ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. All right, so here we go with round one. He is close to retirement. His career will go down. trying to better his position. Half guard here. He's posturing up here. Transitions to full guard. Oh, hammer fist here by Lewis. Fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Here's the kick blocked by Torrance. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Under a minute now to go. Now he moves to full guard. Back to half guard now. Torres gets back up again. Nicely done. Just oh! Oh! Huge right hand! He's hurt here. The champ is locked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. Guillotine, guillotine. The tight guillotine. That is a tight guillotine. was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was gonna stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission, and you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump. Horan!
and still the baddest man on the planet. And now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight. Winning a championship in the UFC was a dream come true for this fighter. Defending it became an obsession. It was clear that we were witnessing something special in the octagon. But what is even more notable is that this champion has done the extraordinary. As he leaves the sport with a title belt still fastened securely around his waist and at the top of the game, undisputed forever.